saving him. Well, of course he would, my dear. A great honor for a great man. But let's not talk any further about the parade for me in the city. Wearing the king's clothes, showered with gold on his best horse, with a lot of all people shouting how great I truly am. No, we don't want to hear more about that. Uh, Esther, I have come before. It's your turn. My turn? My turn for the parade? <laughs> no, Esther, your turn to protect your people. Haman wants the Jewish people killed. I heard him mumbling under his breath. And I'm afraid that he has it in for me. I know, Uncle, it's terrible. But really, what can I do about this? You have to talk to Ahasuerus and tell him what Haman is planning. I can't talk to Ahasuerus. I'd be scared. Do you really talk yet about anything? Esther, you have to do it. There is no choice.
return Philip and Gadar. He will be first. I will make him um, I will make an example of him and hang him with the royal tree. Are you sure? Absolutely. And you know why I'm so sure? Because the moment I thought of that fantastic idea, I got a summon from the king. That's not unusual. He always wants your advice, dear. But Zarish, this was not like usual. Queen Esther was there too, and she invited the king and me, and only the king and me, to a special dinner party at her castle tonight. Maybe. No one in the history of the kingdom has ever been invited, has ever been invited to like this. The fact that the king was happy that I was invited too only shows how important they are. Maybe. But I just have this odd feeling about this. Something seems off. Sarah, this puts an exclamation point on my list work. We have worked so hard to provide for our ten children. And now, I'm sure that after tonight, things will only continue to get better and better than they actually are. I love you so much, Sarah. I love you too, Mama. And I'm glad you're so happy, but I'm just still not sure. Sarah, my love, I am more than happy. This is an absolute bliss. Yeah.